Hey there guys, what's up? It's 3 to the 5 to the 3 to the blaze. Yeah, I'm never going to do that intro again because it's weird. But yeah, pretty much this is my next episode of Candyland, so I'm working on the farm a bit. And then I'm also going to work on this farm a wee bit more. Make it bigger, make it more efficient, and whatever. Basically make it so that I actually can get stuff out of it. So let's see, I've got my bucket of chocolate, water. Got some melon seeds, got some wheat. Let's go make it bread. And so, I may sound kind of entertaining now, which I think is probably one of the best intros I've done. But at the same time, it's probably going to get a lot more boring. So let's see, I'm going to need some seeds. I'm going to need to sleep before anything big spawns and tries to kill me, which is definitely going to happen, knowing my luck at this game. So we've got some wood, cobblestone. Let's get like three shovels. Then put them there. Boom. So guys, oh, yeah, I didn't think that would happen. Hmm, maybe I should put my farm up here. Let's see now, so we can destroy that, that, and that. Then we can put this here. Oh wait, that's water. Don't want to put that there. Oh wait, that's just a bucket. That's not even water in it yet. Ah, zombie. Mr. Zombers. Ha. Huh. Can't get me. So let's see. Yeah, I think I'm going to rant on about something random. So pretty much, let's see now. What are you guys' favorite TV shows? My favorite is probably The Big Bang Theory nowadays. It's got Jim Parsons, Johnny Galecki, and then a whole bunch of other actors and actresses. And it's pretty much about these nerds that are also pretty promiscuous, except one named Sheldon, who is played by Jim's, Jim Parsons. It's also got... um. A girl named Amy Farrah Fowler, who was actually played by someone called, who also played, or like someone who played someone called Blossom in a TV show a long time ago. I'm not sure exactly who that is, but you know, why not mention it a bit? So let's see, I'm gonna need some wood in order to make a fence. So let's do that bit. That there. Let's go get some sticks. And boom. Sticks, and then more sticks. You can never have too many sticks. But yeah, be warned, the show does have quite a bit of stereotype against many things, including, like, Judaism and stuff. It's pretty funny, though. Like, it has one character who is Jewish. Um, His name is Howard. He's hilarious. He lives with his mom, and his mom's got, like, that heavy Jewish accent, which, of course, you guys can probably, if you know me well enough and remember me saying this, my family is Jewish, so we find that character to be especially funny, because we can relate to her somewhat. But, like, the way she talks is so funny. She's always just like, Howard! Except slightly more feminine. And, like, not sounding like I'm just in a heavy whisper, scream, whatever. But you never actually see her in the whole show. And it's one of those things where you're not supposed to see her at all. But, like, you can tell by the descriptions that she's very manly. Because people, like, describe her as having, like, a mustache, being super fat, stuff like that. It's hilarious, though. And then, of course, other than that, I don't really watch many TV shows these days. Except, occasionally, Two and a Half Men, although that sitcom kind of sucks now. That Charlie Sheen's gone. I'm not saying I endorsed his personality, you know, I don't really think that it's matters though because it's like the record I meant the company that produces the show didn't want to be associated with him and that's understandable but by the same token it's not like they really can have a say in how he behaves so let's see let's just put that there boom 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 ew so you know he's still making a good income though I mean really he's been in so many movies and TV shows and stuff since he's been a kid like, I just recently watched Platoon with him in it, and so it's not like he's not going to still be making a lot of money. So let's see, how much is it on this side? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So you guys, if you're into war movies, you should definitely see Platoon. It's a really good movie. Pretty much Charlie Sheen plays some kid who joined the army, and all to make money, I think. But now he's learning how the army sucks. Dang it. 
So wait, I can make this one block bigger. Yeah, let's do that. But like, he goes through a lot and realizes that the world can kind of suck. And he realizes that he's never going to really get over what happened in the war. And all that stuff. For the record, it's taking place in Nam. You know, Vietnam. For all you people who don't know the way that the soldiers refer to different countries. Like, they call it Vietnam, Nam. They call it the Japanese, Japs, all that stuff. Chut. Ah. Crap. Ah, great. It seriously is going to take me forever to finish. Ooh. Apple. Yay. My apple. Um, nom 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 nom. You know what? In hindsight, that egg looks kind of stupid. And kind of... Forgive me for saying this, my female viewers, but kind of girly. Actually, in hindsight, this whole texture pack does a bit because it's all pink. But, you know. What are you going to do? And, of course, I still have one fence left. So let's see now. We can get this melon. Die. And then we can get... This wheat. And this sugar cane. Let's plant it here. And this shall be going here. Hey, by the way, I just remembered also, um... Yeah, Big Bang Theory also has, um... The guy from Star Trek Next Generation who played Wesley Crusher, Will Wheaton. So, you know, it's got really good cast in some episodes. Like, he guest stars in a lot of them. Then, um, it has the actor who played... I can't remember who it is. Or, it was like... Yeah, I can't remember. But it was a Star Trek guy. Yeah, I never really watched Star Trek or Star Wars. Never really was a fan of those sorts of things. So I don't really remember any of the stuff too well. Speaking of Star Wars, though, I watched Spaceballs yesterday, and it was hilarious. Kind of goofy and kind of weird, but it was still really funny. So let's see, do I have any bones? Bone, bone, bone. Nope. But yeah, like, Spaceballs is a spoof of... Star Wars, and again, it's got some Jewish stereotypes. So like, so we can go one, two, three, four. Oh wait, oh, should be there. No, there. There we go. And then it does it reach it all the way over here. Let's try it. It works. So though, it's pretty much about... It's a spoof of Star Wars, and it's hilarious. And instead of the Force, they have something called the Schwartz. Yeah, the guy has a heavy Jewish... Well, the Yoda parody guy has a heavy Jewish accent. So, there's a shocker there. So I can reach it over here. Sweet. Four, so put that there. Boom. And so now, just plant it out. So I'll have here can be some melons. So let's make some melon seeds. So boom, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then one, two, three. And then behind it will be all wheat seeds. Oh, crap. Break you, and then break you, there we go, that way I can have a walkway to get through, oh there's a melon, more seeds, sweet seven seeds, I think that should be enough, three, so, there we go, now I still have an extra. That could be my reserves. So now I'm going to need some wheat. So 
Wheat seeds are over here. Let's put them over here. Yeah, I need to get some bones. Uh, tonight in this game I shall not sleep. Well, speaking of tonight... Dang it. That didn't work. Well, that space is kind of pointless. Boom. Now let's just... Use my hoe and we'll make this. And I stole some seeds. Yay, seeds! Now, you guys probably don't know me well enough to know exactly where this farm is going. So pretty much I'm going to finish it and I'm going to feel proud. And I'll feel like, oh yes, now I have a lot of food. And then I'll be too lazy to harvest it later. Oh wow, yeah, I was right. I knew it thought it was getting nighttime. There, there, or no, wait, let's go there, there, and there. Now let's go inside. I uh, don't need that, don't need that. Do we need that? No, oh, no, no. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Nope, nope. nope. So all I need is the cooked chicken. Third goes in there. Iron sword, stone. And then bread. So let's first let's use the stone sword. And let's harvest that real quickly. Now to get some bones to finish up my farm. Hmm. Where are they? Yeah, that's right. Do I have any string? I need string. Oh, wait, wait. You away, my little precious. Any string, 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 string. Nope. Uh, time to kill stuff. What difficulty? Okay, it's on easy. Now to go to the tower. Hmm. Render distance bit, see if I can find anything to kill. Huh, isn't that such a lovely view of the cookie moon that some little bleep decided to eat? I swear, when I find the creeper who took my cookie, I'm gonna kill it. Screw it, let's go. Ah, frick! There, now I don't have as much lag, so I can actually play without falling to my death as much. Now let's come to the jungle. For in the jungle, the lion sleeps until a Minecraft Ian comes up, takes a sword, and shoves it right up his... Again, I'm going to bleep that out. <clears throat> Ow. Oh yeah, I should probably eat something. Okay, let's get some health back a bit. Oh, that's my wolf. No, wait, that's not my wolf, that's a wolf. I didn't even have a wolf. At oh, crap. So let's see if I could... Oh yeah, a pack of wolves. Oh yeah, I remember them. And yet I can't find a frickin' skeleton! Creeper! You ate my moon! Die! Yeah, I'm just gonna walk away like nothing happened. La 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 See? No one ever suspects a kid with a lollipop. Yeah. 
Hmm. Sugar cane, sugar cane. More sugar cane. Plant, plant, plant. Yes! Skellingtons! Hello, Mr. Skelly. Hey, back! Ah, joke's on you. Dead now. Oh, crap. Ew! Yeah, when I was talking about killing you guys because of taking my cookie, I was just kidding. Now die. Ha! I've avenged my cookie. And gotten some crappy dirt. This is probably a creeper hole from like the very beginning, so let's just fill it up. There we go. That's a very odd creeper hole. Oh, yippee, more sugar cane. Die. There and continue running. Oh yeah, I probably should take the dirt too. Oh my gosh. Probably should take this dirt too. And then I'll just put this there. And continue with filling up the stupid creepers holes. You know it's really an outrage that we have to fill up the holes that they make. Why can't they just do it? I mean, really. Like, there should be a mod that allows creepers to pick up dirt blocks. So that then when one creeper blows up, it fills up that dirt. Oh my gosh. No! Stay back! Die. 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 Die! Die. Good news, it finally died. Eat the bread. Ugh. Put up your sword. Die. You know, in normal circumstances, this would at least be slightly... Wait, did I... Sweet! I just got iron and you zombies don't Cause I just killed you and... Frick! He's just like, that's a very nice iron you have there. And I'm cute and cuddly, and I'm gonna kill you. But you know what, Creeper? I killed you. So suck it! Hey, by the way, you guys may remember my friend from Fire Penguin Productions. And I recently got him hooked on the Minecraft. He and I played it on the Xbox, and ever since then he's been addicted to it. On the Xbox, because he doesn't have it for any other console. And can't get it for any other console. He doesn't feel like getting it for any console, including Xbox. Partially because he doesn't have life, but that's not the point. Like, every time he and I play now, like, he and I work on this one world, and we've gotten pretty far on it. And I was the one who usually went mining before, but then recently he decided to be more self-sufficient, or whatever it's pronounced as. So, he was like, you know, I'm going mining myself. And then he kept on finding iron, and every time he did, he would just be, like, screaming it. Um, let me just eat the chicken and then I'll do- Ah, no! Stand back! I'm warning you! I don't have nationwide insurance! No! Die. Yeah. Gotcha, creeper. See, so pretty much every time he went mining, though, he would find- look for iron, and then every time he found it, he would get extremely excited, and he would just scream, IRON! In a really loud voice. And it was just always hilarious. At one point I even took like a screenshot of it from my phone that I found on Google and showed him a picture and he was still like, IRON! And I'm going to stop that now because it hurts my throat. Uh, let's see, what do I need to start growing first with my bone meal? Now that the sun is coming up and the creepers are still probably going to come out and kill me. Get the bone meal, which 
Looks suspiciously like soda. You, 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 you. And watch, I'm gonna have like one bone meal short. Or, no wait, I actually, 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 actually had enough for all my stuff this time. For once, yay. Yippee. Hey, die, die, die. Yes, another skeleton. Hopefully he'll drop two bones. Die, die. Or one, one's good enough for me. With one bone, I shall make bone meal. And I shall grow this two and oh wait three. Now I'm not even gonna replant it. I'm just gonna let this all die, and then I'll move to that farm over there. So I'll just plant these seeds here. Sweet. So my farm is all finished. Everything's fully ready for production and everything. Now let's grow that. And so that was a pretty nice episode of Candyland, I must say. Now I have my sugarcane farm getting started, so I can start actually farming it. Man, that was redundant. I need sand right now. So I have string. Put that in there. You know, I'll get the sand next episode, unless I have it already. Sometimes I love being prepared. Oh wait, need to close the door. Can't be a hypocrite. That's another thing. Every time that my friend and I play Minecraft, he always forgets to close the door. So every time I'm just like, God damn it! Why do you keep on forgetting? And then one time he and I weren't even playing video games. Like, he and I got done playing Minecraft and started just hanging out around my house, walking around and stuff, getting food, and he kept on still forgetting to close the doors. And then finally... He remembered to close a door, but problem was, I still had to go into that door to do something, so he closed the door on me. And so that is it for this episode of Candy Lane. I shall stop it before I start talking about other random things like the economy and George Bush, because I don't really have much to say about them. So, again, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed. So... Now I'm faced with the problem of what to do with my outro. Normally I say, um, burn on, but since this is Candyland, I'm tempted to say stay frosty. So, you know, I'll just do this. I hope you sparks stay frosty and burn on. See ya.